Hey there, and welcome to the Lab Elementary Online. My name is Andrew, and I love that you chose to join us today. This month, we've been learning all about the book of Psalms in the Bible. And what Psalms teach us are all about worshiping God. Now, a psalm is a kind of like a song or a poem. It was something that people would read or sing as a way of expressing praise to God. But worship is more than just singing or dancing. It's about how we show God we love Him. There are a lot of different ways we can do that, and we're going to close off this series by looking at one of the most important ways, which is we can worship God by living for Him. Can you say that with me? We can worship God by living for Him. Great job. The psalm we're going to look at today is Psalm 112. This psalm talks about living for God and what that looks like and why we do that. Let's go explore this psalm with our friends Carl and Jada, and we'll see you back here soon. Hi there, kids. I'm so happy you're here because that means one thing. We're going on one last trip. That's right. We are using the VR Wonderful for one last sight. We've seen the Northern Lights. We have scoured Mount Everest. We have explored the Grand Canyon, but today we're going to one place that I never even knew existed. We're going down under. A place called the Great Barrier Reef. I heard it's underwater, so I brought my snorkel, y'all. Y'all ready to get started? Ha, me too. Let's go. Holy moly, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I mean, how cool is it that guy created all of this? Every fish, every plant, every drop of water, every grain of sand. Wow! Wow what? Jada, hey, how are you? I'm great. Super excited to hear about what you thought of the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, it was, uh, wait, how do you know where I went? Oh, sorry, I figured it was obvious. Obvious? Obvious how? I mean, we've been talking about the world's most wonderful and natural wonders. The Great Barrier Reef stands out as one of the best. Oh, you're also wearing a snorkel and goggles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it was super cool. I actually think I'm going to visit there. Wait, what if I move there? Then I could snorkel in the reef all day long. Well, you can't. What are you talking about? Why not? Well... First off, you can't move to Australia. Your Mama needs you here. I mean, who else would take out the trash and give y'all's pet alligator a bath? That is true. Gertrude does need her baths. Exactly. And also, even if you did, you can't snorkel in the reef all day. That's impossible. Well, nothing is impossible, right? I mean, snorkeling ain't that hard. No, but you got work, gotta eat. You wouldn't be able to go hang out with friends. Snorkeling isn't like worship. Well, what do you mean by that? I just mean worship is something we can do all day, everywhere we go. You really think we can worship God all day long? Don't get me wrong, I love spending time with God, but that's a long time to go to church. I mean, all day, every day? Well, that's the thing, remember? Worship doesn't have to happen within a church. It can happen anywhere. Wherever you're living, whatever we are doing, we can worship God. And the really cool part is that people will notice, too. What? How? Well, look at Psalm 112. It says this, Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear in the end. They will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. Was I talking about people who follow God? It sure was. I mean, someone can tell by just the way I live that I follow God? That's what the Bible says. How is that possible? Well, think about it. You know how I was able to guess you had seen the Great Barrier Reef? Yeah. Well, I was able to do that because of the snorkel and goggles you were wearing. So it's kind of like our lives. If we love and follow God, our lives will show that through the way we talk, the way we act, and the way we treat other people. I guess I never thought about it like that. But helping others, using respectful words, being kind, how's that worship? Well, it's not worship if we're just doing these things because we feel like we have to. Right. But I'm sorry. Don't we worship because God wants us to worship? Of course God wants us to worship, but not because God needs to know what we think of God. But when we worship God, we are letting God know that we truly do love God and are thankful to God. 
but it's not enough to just sing songs and talk to God. God knows that we mean the things we say to God when we follow it up with the things we do. So to tell God thank you for forgiving all of our sins, everything bad we've ever done or will ever do, for sending us Jesus and always being with us, I can... Live for God. It's got to be done by how we live our life. Wow! I mean, that's like a lot of responsibility. It's a big job, but God knows we can do it. Yeah, maybe you're right. So what do I do? Well, the best thing is to stay connected. Like, charge my phone? <laughs> no, stay connected to God. We can do that by reading the Bible and memorizing scripture. We can do it by praying and talking to God and even talking with people who know more about God than we do. Wow, and by worshiping God by how we live, we can not only help ourselves by growing into a stronger, faithful follower, we can help others realize how much God loves them. You got it. God's plan for us is exactly that. Even Jesus tells us in John 13, 35, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Wow, how exciting. Plus, you know I memorized a little scripture myself. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Well, hello there. It's time for our great big idea, which is we can worship by living for God. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We can worship by living for God. Great job! Okay, I'm gonna stop with the accent. But seriously, I've had an absolute blast learning with you kids about some of Earth's most natural wonders. But it looks like I gotta get out of here, so I'm gonna hop on a kangaroo and I'll see you next time, all right? Bye! <laughs> That video did a great job explaining how worship isn't just something we do. It's a lifestyle we create. See, we can worship God through every part of our day. The way we talk, the way we act, the way we treat others. When we do things with a heart of love for God, that's how we worship Him. By living for Him. Psalm 112 gave some wonderful examples of what a life of worship can look like. For example, Verse 4, 7, and 8 say this, Light shines in the darkness for the godly. They are generous, compassionate, and righteous. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They are confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. In those verses alone, we read that we can be generous, which means sharing what we have with others. We can be compassionate, which means being caring for those in pain or need. We can be fearless, meaning we know God is with us, so we don't need to be afraid. And we can live righteously, which means living in a way that is right in God's eyes. Jesus gives us lots of examples on how to live right in God's eyes in the Bible. This week, I encourage you to read through Psalm 112 and ask God to show you some ways you can practice living for Him. Maybe you can set aside a special time of the day just to pray and talk with God. Maybe you can go out of your way to show someone compassion that you know is having a really hard time. Whatever it is, remember our big idea today. We can worship God by living for Him. Let's be intentional to worship God through our lives this week and the rest of our lives. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that we can worship you through our lives, God. And that's, that's a worship that you find pleasing, God. I pray that you would help us to worship you through that way, God, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard, God. Thank you so much for each and every kid here watching. I pray that you'd be with them and be with them through their week. I'm here I pray, amen. Well, thanks for joining us online today. We'd love to see you back here next week or in person at one of our campuses. Bye.